name is Gaynor Evans and this is another Ask Gaynor session for toyboywarehouse.com and today's question um, is from a young man called Keith who lives in Dorset and what he says is, what he tells me, is that he's got his first date with an older woman planned in a fortnight's time, obviously planning well ahead there. I have no idea, he says, what to do, where to go or how to act. Every date I have been on with is with someone my own age. Does dating differ when it comes to cougars? Um, it's quite an interesting question actually, Keith, because um, I think really first dates generally are when you're meeting someone for the first time, especially if it's an internet date, so therefore you haven't seen them in person yet, can be quite daunting. Um, so it's best if you keep things, I always think, on a first date as simple as you can. Don't complicate it with fancy restaurants. Um, find, um, I would suggest, um, maybe a nice pub bar, wine bar, somewhere that you're you're comfortable in, do a bit of reconnaissance if necessary, check check out a few places. Um, if it's easier, sometimes it is to meet um, your date, maybe when they wherever they come in, if they come in and on a train, maybe at the station, so that you've got a chance to meet and greet outside of a pub. Um, sitting in a pub, you know, on your own can be a bit worrying. Um, I would suggest that um, you treat her really as you would expect treat any, any lady, girl, female on a first date. I would greet her with a kiss on the cheek. I would take her into the pub of your choice or the bar, whichever way around, you know, wherever you've decided, and um, go to the bar, order drinks, and just make some polite conversation. I wouldn't sort of, restaurants are great, dinner's fine, but I think, you know, trying to order food and eat and everything, if you're a little bit anxious, um, I'm sure the older woman actually may be more calm about this than you uh, because obviously she's probably had a number of more dates than you have um, just because she's older so hopefully that you know that would be quite reassuring if she's quite confident in what's going on and I always advise people and I can't um, stress this enough before you get to the first date stage do speak to speak to your prospective date on the phone um, you know it's all very well texting emailing but a conversation on the phone you get an ear for someone you you get to know them a little bit better and you know whether or not in fact your first date's going to flow there's going to be some conversation at the end of the date um i would um obviously take her back to the station if that's where she's going or if she's in a car um and it's polite i think to maybe say whether or not you've enjoyed the evening and maybe to uh maybe try a kiss a bit of a snob usually goes down well on a first date it's usually a good idea uh, to try and see whether or not there is going to be any chemistry unless you're already feeling it you might have done the already done the, the first kiss actually in the bar but um usually you know from instinct whether or not this is going to be an acceptable thing to do but i think really we just like to you know older women like to be treated um as nicely as possible um not ne necessarily um Paying, you know, we don't expect a guy to pay for everything. We may well buy a drink ourselves, um, and accept that politely because older women can be quite, you know, in charge of their own lives and not used to being looked after. But that said, I think a bit of a gentlemanly behaviour goes a long way um, to endearing you to uh, your date for a future one. I think so. Um, I hope that helps. I mean, I don't know if there's any other questions you might have. You never know, um, you may find that the first date quickly turns into the second and you might be whisking, whisking her back to your place before you know where you are. But obviously that's entirely up to the people involved. Um, I would not worry too much about it. Older women are much more confident. So if that is on the cards, I can guarantee you that she will make that perfectly clear to you and uh, you can decide whether or not that's something you want to do. But anyway, um, I hope that's answered your question. Good luck with your dating and speak to you soon. Thanks very much. Bye.